Hey, this is Ray at Tower E-Bike Repair Shop. I am going to be discussing hub motors versus mid-drive motors today. We want to talk about the differences, uh, the advantages and disadvantages. So let's just get right into it. Uh, what is a hub motor? Hub motor is a motor inside the wheel of the bike. It could be on the rear or it can be on the front. It's usually controlled by an outbound uh, controller box that's powered by the bike's battery and controlled with the throttle and the pedal assist. It is a single ratio motor. The majority of the hub motors you'll see on e-bikes under $2,000 out there today have a uh, set of planetary gears in them that take the power from the hub motor itself, the electric motor inside the hub, and put it to the outer edge of the hub powering the wheel. This is a single ratio, so the disadvantages of this are if you have to go up a bunch of extreme hills, you're really not able to shift gears and get power through uh, various gear ratios. You just have that one ratio you're going to be working with, and as you go through the power curve of the motor, you're going to lose speed as you go further and further uphill until eventually the hub motor will quit. Now that doesn't mean that the hub motor will quit on you, depending on uh, which manufacturer you go with. Uh, here at Tower, we uh, t test our motors thoroughly on very steep hills, and we try to create a, a hub motor that will climb a hill very well. Now the difference uh, between that and a mid-drive, uh, well, mid-drive, uh, the motor is in the in the crank position, so you're actually pedaling part of the motor, and then it uses the native drivetrain, either the chain or belt with an internally geared hub or a cassette or freewheel system with a derailleur to give you a wide range of gears that are powered. Now, what that does is that not only does it allow you to achieve higher top speeds by uh, changing the ratio to the, to the high end, but then allows you to get a better climbing uh, ratio when you get up to a steep hill. So if you're gonna go climb up a steep hill and you, you can shift down into that lower gear and be pedaling as if you were pedaling up a steep hill, but then the mid drive would be able to assist you still, whereas the hub motor would kind of conk out at a certain point. That is a definite advantage, being able to have a wider range of gears and power through those ratios with the mid-drive. You can also power an internally geared, geared hub and run a belt with a mid-drive. You can do that with a hub motor. You can run a belt. However, you're, you'd be limited to a single speed. A hub mid-drive with a internally geared hub will actually allow you to run a belt and get gears. There's a lot of advantages to that. However, it, it is uh, fairly expensive. So you're gonna see mid-drive motors, generally speaking on bikes, over $2,500. And you're gonna see hub motors, generally speaking on bikes, under $2,500. Not to say that there's not a mix and match and there's, you know, I'm sure $5,000 hub motors out there and uh, there's just not a whole lot of cheap mid-drives. So, you know, as far as service goes, uh, mid-drive is not that much more difficult to service than a hub motor. The mid-drives generally have the controller built into to them, whereas the hub motor, it's a separate box that controls that hub motor that where the controller housing lives. And the, you know, the controller is the, the brain of the e-bike. It takes your input and it takes the battery power and produces power to the motor. That being said, you do have to take your mid-drive motor apart in order to replace the controller on the majority of the systems out there. Whereas a hub motor, if you have a controller failure, eh, it's usually just a little box hidden in the frame or, or on the frame somewhere. That is kind of the difference between a hub motor and a mid-drive motor. You might ask why a hub motor is more common and that's just simply due to price. The price point on the hub motor is much lower than it is on the mid-drive. So you'll see, you know, even thousand dollar e-bikes out there with hub motors in them. Hopefully uh, that explains the difference between hub motors and mid-drives. And this is Ray at the Tower E-Bike Repair Shop.